Today, we're going to talk about all the ways that you can get points in the Galaxy Star event, which I thought recently had just gotten a makeover, oh, but there is so much more to talk about. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and this video has been sponsored by the makers of Infinite Galaxy, and I've got to talk about the new setup for the Galaxy Star event. What are the different phases? How are you able to get points? And are the rewards even worth it? Now, first of all, the thing that I like about the new design of the Galaxy Star event is that they have majorly de-emphasized the sort of kill event portion, the battling other players portion of this event, because like, I don't think that's really constructive long-term for building a healthy nebula, especially at some point if they battle uh, you know, against other nebulas, and that becomes a thing where you need lots of resources. Heck, even just for building up your own spaceport, it just doesn't make a, a ton of sense to be getting a bunch of repairs just for the sake of battling other players to get points in Galaxy Star. So all that to say, I like these changes to Galaxy Star. What are the phases now? Phase one, you get points by doing research, upgrading the buildings in your spaceport, and making spaceships, really warships. Phase two, you use flagship blueprints so this is when you're upgrading your flagship also when you put experience on your flagship or when you gather resources now this is new and different and i'm going to talk about this in just a moment increase power by researching technology killing pirates or defeating deep space relics this is mostly stuff we've seen previously in the galaxy star phase four increase power by using crew data cards crew experience or building spaceships now we're seeing building spaceships show up again, and the crew data cards and crew experience, I mean, maybe I was just sleeping on this before, but that feels new to me. So I like that being in the Galaxy Star. If that was there before, well, I don't know. Just let me know. Uh, and then in Phase 5, this is where you destroy other commanders' fleets, and the points there have been majorly de-emphasized. And Phase 6 is the full sprint phase, which is active right now, and I can show you the different ways to get points. So for researching technology, for every power you get, you get eight points. For advancing your crew, depending on the quality of the data card that you're using, you get more points. For manufacturing spaceships, you get points. For flagship modification, so this is using blueprints on your flagships to do upgrades, you get points depending on the quality of the flagship. And last but not least, upgrading buildings gives you some points as well. This is the sprint for the win portion, which does not include everything from the previous phases. For example, there's nothing here about battling other players. Now, I like these changes to the Galaxy Star, but Galaxy Star has never been a major focus for me. And, and why is that? I think previously, a part of why this wasn't a focus for me is that the flagship that you were getting, I mean, it, it was fine. But a lot has changed with flagships in this game since inception. Uh, now they've removed the damage typing. So you used to, on your flagships back in the day, have a specific type of weapon damage that you are getting boosted from the primary uh, damage skill of a flagship, and that's no longer the case. So the ship that's awarded here, the, the Titan, used to just boost missile attack, and now it boosts all warship attack, which is actually making it way more compelling. And, you know, back when... I started, they didn't have these awakening skills, which also really changes the dynamic for legendary tier flagships and the Titan specifically. And so Titan is definitely a flagship I think is actually pretty strong to be getting from the Galaxy Star, but I will just point out that it's only, I'll say only, about 200 of the blueprints if you're number one. Number two is 100, number three is 70. I don't really sweat this very much, okay? I don't really sweat this, but if what you wanted to do was optimize your account, you would wait to do all upgrades until the Galaxy Star event. You would time big research to end on research days. You would time big buildings or use speed ups to get big buildings to finish on those days. You would dump your blueprints into flagships on the Galaxy Star days where you can get points for that. You would upgrade your crew members, right, on days, okay, when you get points for that. That's phase four. So... I'm mentioning all of this because what the new version of the Galaxy Star does is it changes the timing for when you make your investments if you'd like to get a little bit of extra free value along the way. And I think that's actually pretty reasonable. Do I think it's enough fragments of Titan that it's going to be completely life-changing to win the Galaxy Star? No. 
Do I think that over time you could start to get a pretty decent flagship? Yeah, actually, I mean, for the minimal level of effort involved and just waiting until the Galaxy Star comes around, I actually think it's pretty compelling to just save, wait for Galaxy Star, and then do what you're going to do for upgrading your account. That's what I personally will be doing. And with regard to the flagship itself, I'm kind of in no rush to get this one. I think it's actually really solid. Increasing your warship attack, your range I think is fine. Your warship attack when you're below 70%, I think is fine for longer encounters. Uh, making it so when you're battling other players and you get a bunch of attack and armor, I think is quite solid. And the awakening skill is honestly the thing I'm kind of most hyped about. Reducing the armor of the enemy very, very, very substantially. That really is the sort of biggest draw for me to the Titan. But I'd be eager for your thoughts about the new flavor of the Galaxy Star event and the way that it works and the Titan itself. Do you think it's worth going for the Titan? Are you going to use some of your Federation advanced credits to go and do that? I personally have no plans to do so, but I've been saving up a bunch of these that I'll have to burn sometime soon, perhaps during the next Galaxy Star event, and hopefully before Nebula versus Nebula to do some uh, final preparations for a big fight. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here and consider subscribing for infinite galaxy videos designed to help you get value and smash your enemies. And until next time, good luck in your Galaxy Star event.